Hey everybody, BD Dalton here with the Bullring, and I'm bringing you a video with my partners at CMA Video to make sure that you look amazing on Zoom. Although you don't need to register with Zoom to join a meeting, you'll need to register for a free account to make sure you can host them. Also, download the desktop app so you can experiment with some of the settings we're going to discuss. Firstly, there are different quality microphones and webcams. These are often built into your laptop, so your video is dependent on the quality of these. Make sure your laptop or webcam are set on a steady surface. Nobody likes a shaky video. Also, don't sit with a bright background behind you. It will cast you in a shadow. Try to work with existing lights, such as a window or light fixture. And never sit directly under a light, as it casts shadows around your eyes and under your nose and chin. Sound quality is also important. The nearer you are to a mic, the less you hear the room echoing. A kitchen with hard surfaces will make the sound bounce around more than a room with soft furnishings. Headphones with a built-in mic or separate desktop microphone aren't expensive and they are well worth the investment. Test what you look like before you join a meeting by opening the desktop Zoom app and start a test meeting. You can even record it if you want to. Have you ever joined a meeting at the last minute and you're in the room before you're ready? Well, here's a good way to take control. Open the desktop app and click the settings button in the upper right hand corner. Click the button that says video and tick the option that says turn off my video when joining a meeting. Now you can join a meeting and it will display your profile picture if you have one or your name if you don't. Just click on the camera icon to activate your camera. You can do the same thing with audio settings. Just tick the button that says mute my microphone when joining a meeting. If you click the share screen option, you can anonymously browse your desktop for open files and share them with the meeting. You can even pause the presentation if you want to go online and search for something. This is all completely anonymous, but remember that your microphone might still be live. You can then go back to the presentation by hitting the resume button. Finally, there's a lot more information. Type in Zoom tutorials into Google or look on the tutorials on the Zoom website. Check out the meeting controls to cover a lot of the stuff we've discussed in this video. Thank you very much for watching this video from the Bullring and our friends at CMA Video. We hope it was helpful and happy zooming!